<laughs> I've pressed the right button. Have you, you pressed the right button again this time? No, again. Again. <clears throat> For the record, he's only got two buttons and he still gets confused. <laughs> and you're not you're not editing that bit, huh? Um morning. Morning. It's slightly well no, it's not a different day actually, actually it's uh we're doing Abbott's Langley to uh Tring sort of, but we're not. Yeah, we're stuck at Burke Hampstead, isn't it? Well it's uh, on the way. No, uh, well the it's it's quite a long route, 14, 15 miles, and Hertfordshire isn't flat, and it's got a nearly a thousand foot cum cumulative up uh, on it. Um, so, actually, the Hertfordshire Way book actually recommends splitting this route up into two halves, which is interesting. Why we didn't just make it two routes in, in yep. anyway, but. Um, so we're doing Abbots Langley to Bourne End, which is just the other side of um, Hemel Hempstead. Um, strictly speaking, this route should start from uh, that way. That, that way, just down the road. But but this is more convenient for the way we're doing it for parking. Yeah. So um, last walk was in a, uh, about a mile shorter, and this walk's about a mile longer. Yeah, but we're splitting it in half, so it works. Yeah. So we're doing about ten miles today and I think, I think the next next route hopefully next week will be about seven yeah so more time for drinking um, beer at the end beer in the woods beer we'll in the woods yeah. we'll have to video that yeah so we are at the end of the route we came along that way last time and then went the down to the car park and then this time was uh, then we're heading up that way uh, they spin you around and then so that's where we came from and then we are going over the M25 over down there in a minute right should be a nice walk yes. the weather's nice today a bit overcast not sunny but the ground's drying up now we haven't got the um, the, the, the rivers underfoot that we have had for the last few weeks yep We're just passing a dairy farm. <laughs> it's not smelly vision, but to some people this might be a horrible smell, but to me it smells of countryside. Well, it's just the hay, isn't it? You can smell silage. Yes, so we're um, just up here. We've just been through quite a lot of built up, really, wasn't it? A little bit of road walking for the last mile. And now heading towards Chipperfield. Yes. Yes, it does feel like we are eventually now away from London and built up areas. With these mics, you may not hear it because they're quite good at noise cancelling, but you can just about still hear the M25 in the background. But that'll be gone soon. You can hear birds. Yes. Oh, we're not. First, first part of February, but it feels very spring like. It does, it? yeah. Um, Chipfield Common is about 90% woods, so but it's a very nice little area. If anyone ever wants to visit Chipfield, there are two very nice pubs the Cricket Green, a nice church, got, got the sports club there, and all, all sorts. It's uh, right. the quintessential English village. 
<laughs> but we don't go through it today. But we don't go through them. We actually, don't, we actually avoid the village. Yeah. But it is somewhere to, uh, a destination to come to, for the record. We're so in the middle of nowhere, we have no internet. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> isn't really the middle of nowhere. We're not that far from civilization, but we've got absolutely good job the maps cash. Mm. Yes, I always doubt the <clears> maps. <throat> and we've got a paper copy in our pocket. Yes. Ah, <sighs> lovely. And maps. And compass. Yeah. So we've left Chipperfield. We're now heading towards Bovingdon. And I know I've been to Bovingdon, but I can't picture it in my head. But we have been to Bovingdon before. Right? There's a blue smudge in Bovingdon. Yep. But we're not allowed those, we're are we? Allowed, we're not allowed in them. No. no. That's our COVID rule. We have some beers in the back of the car. Yeah. We'll have later on. Outside. There's a church. All right. Was it a lunch spot, you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Yeah, church is a very nice place for, for, for lunch. Yes, I forgot. If you, if you can get in the porch of a church. Yeah. Particularly when it's raining. It's so yeah. quiet here, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Isn't it? This is, where are we? Hollow Hedge Woods. Strange name. You were mentioning the, uh, the Chiltern Way, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Yeah, so this is, you were right, this is where it crosses. We have done that. <clears throat> you know how you recognise? Yeah. Yeah, we have done that. It's nice. It's an easy day today, so we're not steaming along. We're just taking our time to, to be sometimes. Yeah. You need that, don't you? We do. Now that's um no we have done that. Yeah, we're a little bit little bit of walking on the road at the moment. Yeah. Um it's only a real bit of proper road walking all day. But as you can see it's a busy road. <laughs> it's like an Irish road, isn't it? It is, yeah. Up in Ireland they've also got grass down the middle. Yeah. Well up in Donegal where we did our walk. Maybe I'll link you. I'll link at the end. Our Donegal walk. Yeah, yeah. I should really do that. So just coming into Bodding, Bodding. Bovi Bovingdon. Bovingdon. It's got a vut in it. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, you know, a little bit through sort of housing estates, up the high street, turn right at the church and back into the countryside. Lovely. So uh, only a small, only a small, small bit of um, humanity we've got to walk through. Not too bad. Nice. We've only got three miles to go. We've been taking it so gently today. Lovely. Have I got to go through the gate? Yeah, you oh. got to go. <laughs> you can go that way. Yeah. What, what do you mean stupid? I don't understand. This is Bobbingdon. Very pretty, isn't it? Really? Right, shall we? It's through here, we're, you we're think? Going, we're going up there, yeah. Oh, look, it's a blue smudge. <laughs> but, well, unfortunately, you missed it because we're not going past it. Yeah. Yeah, just down here, and the path goes off to the left through the, through the um, church. Very old village.
bunch of times. Yes. Very pleasant stop for lunch in the vestibule. And then uh, back off again. Yeah, yes, you're right, it's downhill. Now we're heading towards the canal, so one would assume downhill. Yeah. Remember it from that angle. Yeah, it's lovely church. Oh, I should have taken some pictures. Oh, of the, uh, the pudding stone. Yeah, the pudding stone. It looks like uh, what's an amalgamate stone made up of pebbles and the quartz holding them together, apparently. Very rare. And there's loads in the wall. Actually, yeah, there's some here. that stone with the sort of all the pebbles in it it's only found in Hertfordshire apparently oh we're just leaving Bobbingdon yep then road noise behind us um and a road in front that's the oh golf no, course that's isn't the it golf course yeah we're yeah. gonna walk around the edge of a golf course but uh down to Bourne End which is actually our destination Although when we get there, we've got to sort of turn left, turn right, down the canal um, to where we park the car. And there's a very nice blue smudge there next to the canal. There is. There is. Now we actually have stopped there for coffee. And, coffee uh, and a big sausage roll. Big sausage roll, yes. Big. That was in the uh, Covid lock days, wasn't it? You couldn't go into the pub. But they, they had their um, back door open and they were selling coffee and, and food from their, from their back door. So, you know, heads up, you know, every business had to try and keep itself afloat, didn't it? Yep. And it was a very nice sausage roll, as I remember. <laughs> it was, yeah. So, going through the golf course, uh, that born end all in this sort of down in the valley can't down quite see valley. it can we you can see so, the railway line so it's literally just down there okay you are crossing a golf fairway please be aware of golf balls hitting hitting you from the tee on the right oh well that is not exactly a mile away is it i think we would see if someone runs on that tee um 10 yeah. meters away yeah that's the tea there, isn't it? Yeah. Just there. I've got to get the angle of the dangle right for this. Oh, that's better. Well, here we go. You think we've reached the canal? No, it's a river crossing. That's <laughs> lovely. Not a breath of wind today, is there? A little bit grey, but it's perfect weather. Tell you what, they've got it right, haven't they? Barbecue area at the bottom of your garden next to the canal. Yeah. Well, this will do. This is, uh, for the record, the Grand Union Canal. Oh. Where does it unite? Uh, London and the Midlands, Birmingham. Right. It was the M1 of each day. At the bottom end, it also joins up with the Regent's Canal. And you follow the Regent's Canal around to um, 
Lime, to Limehouse Basin. So, uh, <coughs> a lot of good, so a lot of good traffic from the Port of London or to the Port of London would have come up and down here as well. This literally was the M1 of its day. So is this where we cross over, Tim? Yeah, across the, uh, that's the Swing Bridge. Swing Bridge? Swing Bridge. So it pivots on the far end, does it? See? It pivots on the far end there, does it? Oh, uh, yeah. That actually swings round and goes into uh, that area there. That's where we had our sausage rolls just was. there, wasn't it? Yeah. So it's a very nice, very nice pub to sit out in the summer. That area there gets rammed out, and I wonder why. Sit there drinking, drinking beer, and eating food, and watching the boats go up and down. Yeah.